I was diagnosed over 30 years ago. I, when I was, say, around 10 years old, I used to have all kinds of stomach pains. I would eat a salad and then go lay on the couch. Uh, you know, my family, it was a very male dominated family. So they called me a wuss and say I was making it up and stuff. But I would have all these issues. Then I started vomiting. But my parents kept thinking it was a flu. Somehow this flu lasted three years. But, uh, but eventually I had, it was just a terrible night of vomiting, bile, and whatever. So I'm getting into all the details. But, but we ended up going to the hospital when I was in Florida. And they said I had appendicitis. And uh, they operated. Then when I woke up, they're like, you don't have appendicitis. You have Crohn's disease. But he's like, we removed your appendix anyway. So uh, that was like, I felt bad that they just taken out body parts. I guess it could have been another one that would have been worse. But, you know, that was like the start of it. And, uh, you know, I've had a 30-year journey since with Crohn's and uh, many ups and downs. And But I'm surviving and thriving now. Yeah. Do you think they went in? And they felt like they had to take something out or they had to do something. So they just said, ah, let's just take that appendix while we're in there. Yeah, they're like, we're, we're already on the clock. So, you know, you know, we want to earn our salary. And uh, yeah, there was, there was a lot of extra charges on the bill. I mean, I thought they should have gotten the appendix in free if they're, you know, since I didn't really need it taken out. 